Hello and welcome back to SirKentSaid.com. Um, on a serious note, I wanted to take a moment and express my true remorse on a great man we lost this weekend. Um, Mr. Carl Weathers passed away at uh, 76, I think it is. Um, this guy just personified grace. He personified wisdom. He personified strength. And I cannot think of a time when he's caught up in some shit. The guy was just, when you were with him, he just oozed like wisdom. You couldn't help but give the guy his his dues, his respect, your respect, and he will be missed. Truly. Now, this is just going to be an opinion piece, so it's just my thoughts on um, how Marvel can unfuck themselves in their current state. Um, it may come down to Blade and Black people coming to their rescue once again. Back in 1988, the original Blade made um, $170 million worldwide, which by today's standards is not much, but back then, that was a fuck ton of money, especially since Marvel had sold off almost everything, trying to make money, filing for bankruptcy. I mean, they were just, and this movie came along and proved two things. One, that a leading man of color could make bank and two that a relatively unknown character could make bank a lot of people are giving rdj robert don jr credit for the revival of marvel when in fact uh, blade was the one who blazed that trail a little while before he showed up on the scene. Now, the current reboot of Blade, um, starring Oscar winner actor Maharshala, Maharshala Ali, God damn it, I fucked that name all up, um, was rumored to actually have him nearly walk up the set because it was such a clusterfuck. The script was just dog shit. And the strike didn't exactly help matters either. But with the success of uh, Echo, which is kick ass, um, Werewolf by Night, and buzz around the upcoming Deadpool 3, which has so much weight caught uh, on its shoulders because it is the only movie Marvel is making for an entire year. So it's going to be carrying water for a lot. Uh, Disney realizes that there is a market for a more adult themed comic movies and characters. I think that's why the invention of the Marvel Spotlight was a good move. It's a great place to park all of that. And um, yeah, that was a good move to unfuck themselves, but it, you can still do more. Instead of looking back, why not dip into all the other characters, all of Marvel, and try and make stuff off of them? Um, case in point, Isaiah Bradley, the first black Captain America. After his casting and portrayal in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, that story has to be flushed out. But it's, it's got to be brutally honest with the whole racial shit that happened to him back in Tuskegee, back in the day. And that's something that can only be told on Spotlight, but it's got to be brutal. You guys did touch on it in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but you got to dig, you, you got to go balls deep into it. Um, and if you could time it to where you dropped it during uh, Black History Month, that shit would be gold. And you can either put it on the series or you can put it on the streaming app. I would pay to go see that 
on the big screen. Um, also, since Disney is so good at sex swapping, sex changing, sex changing the sex of characters, um, if you wanted to keep the galactic space thing going, which I'm pretty sure you do, even with the uh, intergalactic rot of the Marvels recently, um, why not make Nova a black guy? I mean, build up on Xandar, you know, tell how he got to be the last remaining um, Nova Corps member and make that guy black. I'd go see that. And finally, how the actual fuck have we not gotten Adam Bashir, the Blue Marvel, in the MCU yet? I mean, that's just... It borders on insulting because you can make um, guys that are in the comics female in the series and the movies and shit like this, but a black man who can be as smart as Tony Stark and even Reed Richards, who is as strong as Thor and who has a deeply fascinating story back backstory where he was all good and dandy until america found out that he was black and the president stepped up and told him yo we can't add it uh here's your medal of honor but you gotta stop that is a story that needs to be told and has relevance today again marvel you're fucking missing out you need to unfuck yourselves in that department I mean, if James Gunn can make the Suicide Squad cool, y'all got some catching up to do. So those are my thoughts on that, and I'll see you guys on the other side.